and I'm the co-founder and CEO of Verst. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a person that used to refer themselves with four numbers. Today, we call them this. There's 3.4 billion of them. They play anything from Candy Crush to Baldur's Gate to Fortnite. And together, that industry is now worth $187 billion. 20% of them play role-playing games, RPGs. That makes it the number one genre in terms of earnings. But we're going to zoom in a little bit more. We're going to zoom in on who creates these games. Uh, you probably can't see it, so let me zoom in. Uh, that's 0.01% of all gamers. And just to give you an idea of what that's like, that's 10 times less in Hollywood in compared to how many people uh, consume versus create. Stories are stuck. The default for a story now is that it's passive. It's a movie, it's a book, it's something you experience. But uh, games offer something more. And it's easy to understand why it is like this, because games are hard to build. They take years to develop, but not on Verst. With Verst, we empower anyone to create their own video game, their own role-playing game. We're essentially a no-code tool for game development, and we use AI to create this new kind of interactive medium. Fan bases are changing. You don't just want to uh, read about something, you want to live in it. You don't want to see Game of Thrones, you want to sit on the throne. And so Verst is really about that kind of interactive experience. And as a creator, how can you offer that? How can you follow where the consumer is going, where your fan is going? So on Verst, you do something a little different. You write your story. You just do that in, as if you were writing a screenplay or a script. You describe your characters, your locations, and everything else that matters to your story. We then use that to generate a fully 3D immersive world. Um, you just use a really simple syntax to create these episodes. And you keep writing episodes and editing your scripts uh, based on the feedback of your players. It's a really great way to involve your community in your creation. You do not have to be a game designer either. That's us. That's our team. We have spent decades doing that. Uh, my co-founder, Kat Burton, for instance, our CTO as well, um, she used to work at Unity and MindCandy alongside some of our other team members. And so we've shipped great games to millions, hundreds of millions of players, and we're going to do the same for all the creators on Verst. There are a lot of text-to-game startups out there, and respectfully, I don't think it works that, like that. I think you need to be designing for fun designing for engagement, of how to engage players. And that's what we're doing. AI is also something that's inherent to our team. I myself, for instance, um, uh, started my first AI startup when I was 20 years old, which got acquired by GFK. And later, I joined Google as a product manager in AI. Um, we use AI in a very ethical and intelligent way. We uh, don't generate writing. We let you do that. But we help along the way. We use decoupled LLMs uh, to basically do things like procedural generation. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we also don't generate any uh, 3D art based on public uh, works. We do that based on our own art that is modular and parametric and can respond to any story. Any story can be uh, as detailed as you want. We will generate a world from it. Then we publish your game on our platform. You, as a player, buy an episode for about 2 to $5. And it gives you a few hours of playtime. Half of that goes straight into the creator's pocket. That means for the first time ever, and this is major, you can uh, earn a living as a games developer. So to show you how we empower creators and not replace them, here's a brief introduction. Let's play the video. I have the ability to make gameplay choices and interactive choices as the writer that I haven't experienced at other times, and it, it's so accessible. Seeing how the technology is expanding and seeing the demos and building with these syntax to realize, like, oh my gosh, this is going to be like something that tons of other people can play. 
The whole video game creation of it all feels like pinch me. Am I really doing this? A real video game? Me? First as a whole, when it like opens up and people can become verse creators, you now have yet another avenue where you can showcase your skills as a storyteller. I think this will spark a larger conversation in the games industry. Developing this still gives me chills, and I don't think it's Helsinki's weather. Um, these are our first creators, our first eight, before we open up to the public. And these creators, they've been uh, telling their stories, building their worlds. Uh, uh, they've written comics for DC. They've uh, uh, produced television shows for uh, Comedy Central. They've written tabletop games for Dungeons and Dragons. But for the first time ever, they're releasing a creator-owned game on Verst. We also uh, ended up um, uh, uh, being joined by some really great investors, uh, some of which are angel investors from companies that you might recognize. I'm going to leave you with something very important, something I, uh, that keeps me up at night. And that's the fact that games as a cultural medium cannot be left to only developers, to bigger studios, and to publishers. Uh, how we tell our stories, how our folklore evolves is important, and we're here to power that evolution using video games. Come talk to us afterwards. We'd love to hear your feedback and give you a demo. And the next time you're playing a video game, ask yourself not, am I enjoying this, but can I make something even better? Thank you. <laughs>